friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my going dope series I can't believe we're already in week four Wow so this week was very interesting we got a lot of uh, news and Scooby that's rude Anyway, so this week was very interesting. We got some news from Run Disney that was very crushing. Um, I got some interesting news that I'll share with you guys next week. And I got a new toy. Um, so let's just dive right into a recap of this week's training. We had two 45 minute runs and then a five and a half mile run. So this week, uh, I actually had such a fun time. I started the week by going to Walt Disney World. We stayed at Pop Century and we went into Magic Kingdom on Tuesday. And I will have a video of that coming if you're interested. So if you wanna see that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, but I had planned on us running at Pop Century Resort. Like I packed all of our running gear because I was going to make G run with me and I set our running shoes right next to the suitcase and somehow the running shoes got left. So we didn't run there which actually meant that I did not have my first run until Thursday morning. Wow. And I'm telling you guys, it kills me to have my first run at like the end of the week. You know, like if I don't do it like Tuesday at the latest, I'm like, okay, what is this week? Um, but that's fine. Uh, so my shins kind of hurt a little bit when I was doing my run Thursday morning. I think just because of like walking around Magic Kingdom all day on Tuesday. But it was worth the pain to see my home, my castle my pirates, my ghost. It was worth it, is basically what I'm saying. And I got a new toy that I got to test out on Thursday. I bought a gimbal. Do I know how to use her? No. Do I think I'm gonna figure it out? Also, maybe no. I watched like 15 videos on how to use this thing and we're definitely still not completely acquainted yet. But we gonna try, okay? We gonna figure it out somehow. The Fiutech 6 and yeah, I really am happy that I have this now. It'll kind of help like document all of my running through all the parks. I think it'll be so cool to run through the parks and have this bad boy so I can show you what it's like, all that magic. Yeah, um, so I tested her out on Thursday on my run and I videotaped a little bit. So let's go ahead and just jump right into that. Good morning, welcome to week four. Hello, hi, how are you? How's your runs going? Um, so this may be a little different today because I bought a gimbal. Woo, super excited. So I don't know how this is gonna go. This is week four. This is the first run of the week, so it's just 45 minutes. And it rained all last night, and it's 100% humidity right now. Love that for me. We're almost done. We're actually like 30 something minutes in, so just another like 15 minutes. But I wanted to test out the gimbal now since it's, you know, light enough to actually see anything. Um, my calves are really tight today. Uh, we spent Tuesday, it's Thursday right now. We spent Tuesday at Magic Kingdom and we were there for the entire day. I'm talking 11 a.m. till 7 and then Disney Springs till they closed it down at like 10. So my calves are feeling a little tight. Um, it's kind of sprinkling a little bit so hopefully I can get finished up before it's like monsooning but I don't want to jinx myself because you know what happened last time I said that. Um, wow, can't believe that it's Thursday and I'm just now doing my first run. Oopsie. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs>
If you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you I still believe so Don't forget I'm not so far from home Don't forget I'm not so far from home Cause when it's you My heart feels it too busy I was gonna be on Saturday so I just decided you know what guess we'll just run in the middle of the afternoon in Florida when a thunderstorm is approaching um yeah I was trying to like get in get done before it started torrential downpouring on me especially considering I was running nowhere near my car um and I was supposed to go to the gym as soon as I left running or as soon as I left as soon as I stopped running, I was supposed to go to the gym, so it's like I didn't want to get like completely like soaked in rain. Soaked in sweat is fine, but not soaked in rain. Uh, yeah, so it was very scary, me trying not to get struck by lightning, but I survived. Then that brings us to Sunday. Sunday uh, was my five and a half mile run. I actually bumped up my run intervals and I was so proud of myself. Like I even texted G and I was like, oh my gosh, I bumped my run intervals up to this and I didn't die. So that was super exciting, like very motivating. Um, and I took my gimbal again with me to try to get her a little more figured out on this run and actually it was a lot better. I will say though, like I don't really have like a running pack to run with her. Like I have a like hydration backpack and that's the only thing I could think to take to like bring her along. So that was a little uncomfortable because when I would put her up, it would be like jabbing into my back. So I gotta figure out something. I kind of think like maybe instead of the backpack, like a vest thing maybe, but also I feel like I'd get annoyed at that. I don't know, we're still playing with it. Um, but this was such a pretty run to go on uh, for this run. I actually ran through a really pretty community that I don't live in. The weather was, it was hot, like don't get me wrong, like obviously like all of my videos I'm just completely drenched in sweat because the humidity was 98% outside, but it wasn't like completely unbearable. It was so good, like I parked at Starbucks, so that was like my motivation to get me through is like, I gotta get back to my car because your girl's gonna get a cold brew, woo! Good morning, um, it's Sunday. We're gonna go do five and a half miles right now for our dopey run number 12, three, six, nine, 12 really gonna test the GoPro today on the gimbal because we have five and a half miles but I have my hydration pack just because I needed a way to carry the gimbal when I'm not like filming actively filming and this was the only thing I could think of so I'm not really happy about it because the gimbal like kind of fits in there weird so if you have suggestions I would love them um, anyway, but I guess it's time to get going. I'm running in a completely new place today, too, so that's a little... We're just getting really wild this morning. Um, but I got lost last week or the week before when I was delivering something and stumbled across this road and I thought, I'm gonna run there. So that's where we are this morning. And I parked at Starbucks because it's gonna be my motivation to get me through and to get me through in a decent amount of time because I have to start working in just a couple of hours. Living my best life. All right, let's go.
far from home Cause you were never really far from home So if you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you Still believe, don't forget I'm not so far from home Don't forget I'm not so far from home Cause when it's you interval today so I'm really happy with that I feel really good right now now we're gonna Starbucks treat ourselves I'm sure I look like a hot mess I'm gonna wait till I get a little closer and throw my mask on see you soon Marissa <laughs> all right we're officially done with run number three for week four of dopey training overall pretty pleased with this week I'm telling you guys like when I bumped up my run intervals for my five and a half mile run, ooh, so proud, so proud. Can't believe that we're about to get into next week already. Um, next week is week five of dopey training, and we have. I'll tell you. A few moments later. Okay, so next week we have a forty-five minute run, a forty-five minute run, and a three miler. So it'll be pretty pretty easy peasy next week. I think what I want to do one day next week is do like some sprint intervals. I think that would be super fun. And I just want to say before I close out the video today, for anybody that is now canceling their wine and dine registration because it has gotten virtual, I am so sorry. Um, I did post a video about like answering some questions revolving like wine and dine that I knew the answers of just through like talking to cast members and emails and stuff like that. Um, so if you do have any questions, I might be able to answer them there. I'll link that video. But you know what, even if you did cancel or even if you're not excited about it going virtual, I just want you to know I'm so proud of you for like all the training you have already put in. And you know what, you should keep training, keep running and keep positive, okay? It just means that once we have like races in person again, like it's just gonna be a whole new world, a new fantastic race to race. It's gonna be so great. I'm gonna stop right there. Um, 
Anyway, but yeah, no, honestly, I know it's so tough, so rough on everybody. I was so looking forward to going and cheering everybody on. Every race just seems to be getting canceled. It makes me so nervous about getting a proof of time for like marathon weekend. That's okay, you know, we all just have to stay positive. It's just, we all gotta learn. We all gotta pull through it. It'll be okay. It's so much more important to stay healthy and keep those that would be involved in the race healthy then take the risk. I did learn a little more information since I posted that video. They said directly from Disney they will not be giving out any more like additional races even though it's virtual now. However, some charities I guess may have some virtual spaces opening up. I don't know. So maybe just something to consider if you're really looking forward to it. I think that's pretty much it for me this week. I hope you guys had some great training runs. Uh, don't forget, just get rid of that. <laughs> don't forget if you want to help keep me motivated and keep yourself accountable, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will catch up with you guys next week. Bye.